What's up guys, it's Glitch Gaming here, and today's video I'm going to be showing you a super easy solo card duplication glitch on GTA 5 Online. So if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of the latest GTA 5 Online money glitches. And if you are looking for cheap, fast and reliable modded accounts, make sure to check out Digizani. This is my go-to website for legit modded accounts on PS4, Xbox and PC and they even sell cash drops. Use the code GLITCH at checkout for a discount. The link will be in the description. Make sure to go and check it out. So anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new solo car duplication glitch on GTA 5 Online. And this glitch is super easy, so I know you guys are going to like it. So anyways, shout out to the founders. There is a lot of founders to this glitch, so I'm just going to put all of the names in the description so you can go and check that out if you want. But anyways, I do want to give you a quick heads up before we get into the video. I'm going to be live streaming the Give Cards to Friends glitch today, but I'm going to be starting a little bit earlier today, so around about 4pm UK time. So anyways, getting into the video, what you will need to start off with is a facility, and in that facility, you will need it to be full, so it doesn't matter what cars are in there, but you do need at least one LGRH8 or a Faggio because that's what we're going to be replacing over. Now a lot of people have been saying can you just get a glitch without a facility. If you're saying that I recommend you just get a facility because a lot of the glitches now are going to be with the facility so if you can just try and invest in a facility. Now you also need an Avenger with vehicle workshop inside of it so make sure you have the workshop and you need to place the Avenger in the same place as me so it's on the edge of the facility so you need to get it as close to the facility as you can but you need to make sure that the blue circle appears at the back of the facility now you want to get your oppressor out which is in a different garage and you want to drive that into your facility where you get the facility full alert and then you want to press your playstation button or your xbox button so you go to the dashboard once you go to the dashboard you want to come back to the game and when you come back the facility full alert will have disappeared so all you want to do is drive at the same pace as i do over to the blue circle and as soon as you see the option to go into your Avenger in the top left corner, you want to press right on the D-pad and just wait a couple of seconds before you press right on the D-pad. Once you press it, you'll be put into a black screen and you should see that the facility full alert should pop up. Now once it pops up, you need to listen to your game and once you hear that you're inside of your Avenger, that's when you can accept the alert. And once you've accepted the alert, you just want to go outside of your facility and kill yourself but make sure that you've parked your facility in the right spot, close enough to the facility that you get the alert, and you also get the option to go into the blue circle, so just make sure you take your time getting your Avenger in the right place. Once it's set, you can just keep doing the glitch over and over again. So your aim is to press right in the D-pad, and once you're in the alert, the facility full alert will come up as you're in the black loading screen, so just make sure you're trying to do that. And once you've killed yourself through your interaction menu, all you want to do is call your mechanic, and bring the car that you want to duplicate. Now if you're going to be making money from this you need to be using Benny's cars and every car that you're going to sell using this glitch you need to put a brand new custom plate on it because it does not give you fresh plates. So every time you sell one of these you need to put a brand new unused plate on that car. But anyways as you can see I've just used an LG Retro Custom. You can use any Benny's car but I recommend the Retro Custom or the Sultan RS. But all you're going to do from here is get inside the car and you want to block off both passenger side and the driver side so you can get a street car and park it up to a rock and then block the passenger side if you want or if you have the same facility as me you can just come up to the same part where I do where it blocks both driver and passenger side and you'll know that you block them both off is when you get out of the car you will teleport in and out so once you're able to teleport in and out you want to go to your motorcycle club president on your interaction menu and hover over a turn vehicle to storage and you want to press S X and triangle at the exact same time or if you're on Xbox Y and X at the same time if it's done correctly you'll spawn in your car and nothing will happen all you want to do from there is go into your facility and accept the alert that your facility is full now if it says that the vehicle cannot be stored inside your facility it does mean that you've done some part of the glitch wrong you might have done the last part wrong where you have to press X and triangle at the same time on return vehicle to storage. So just try again if that happens, but it will eventually work. But once you get into your facility, you just want to replace it for your LG RH8 or Faggio. I didn't have any in my facility, so I just replaced my Deluxo. 
but of course if you want to drive the vehicle you need to restart your game. But anyways that's pretty much it for this video, if you did like this video leave a like, subscribe and until next time see ya.